I would totally agree that if you were under consuming protein, this is where animal protein seems to be superior to plant protein 100% in a low protein diet, just because you don't have that surplus of amino acids available for muscle protein synthesis, for example. Yeah, there's no denying that in the modern environment, it's just a lot more convenient to get it from animal-based proteins. But is it healthier? I would argue that skewing your protein consumption more towards plants is going to be healthier just because of the extra bang for buck. You've got the phytonutrients, the isoflavones, increase in fiber. So you're getting a lot more than just protein when you're consuming these other products. When I hear the word quality, when it comes to protein, how is that protein source, whatever the food matrix is that you're consuming to get that protein, how is that affecting your risk of the diseases you're most likely to get? The word quality insinuates optimizing for overall health, where actually the diet score was invented purely to assess the risk of malnutrition in global populations. So it's not for you and I, and it's not a reflective score for anabolic potential of these different ingredients. It's more encompassing of the person that it was actually started for. Maybe you should start another scoring system that actually is reflective of cardiometabolic disease, uh, bone mineral density, all these other factors that I think would be more relevant for the word quality. 